Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So when I was giving RBI interview last year, I was asked this question, why RBI grade B? And I'm sure up sab logo ne bhi ek list banai hogi why you want to prepare for RBI grade B exam. But to clear any exam or to give interview for that exam, it is very important to target very high marks. Ab Manish sir ne last time aapko video mein bataya tha how to score high marks in ESI. I am going to tell you how you can score really high marks in finance and management FM. Bohut important topic hai that is asked in RBI grade B exams. And to clear phase 2, you have to understand aap high marks kaise score kar sakte hai in finance and management. The first thing that you have to understand that, that it's not financial management, it is finance and management. So morning shift mein ye exam conduct hua tha last time. Finance and management ka, that was paper 1. Under this, Objective and descriptive, both questions were asked. Objective mein, 30 questions are asked. That are 20 questions of 2 marker and 10 questions of 1 marker. And descriptive mein, you had 6 questions. You had 6 questions, 3 of 15 marks and 3 of 10 marks. Out of which, you had to attempt 4. So this is the pattern of questions that is asked in your phase 2 in ESI and in finance and management. Bohut important hai, sabse pehle aap samajhiye, what is the pattern of questions, tabhi you will be able to strategize well and only then you will be able to get very high score. So this is the pattern for finance and management paper 2. Firstly, do not get intimidated thinking ki finance background nahi hai mara, we are not from commerce background, we haven't done MBA, to finance kaise padhe jayega. It is very easy to score very high marks. You can easily score 80 plus marks in finance and management. How? I'll tell you now. Okay, so now we have the pattern of the questions. Finance and management are two sections. Hai. Finance and management both. 30 questions are asked in the objective out of which usually the weightage is equal both in finance and management. 15-15 questions are asked. So weightage equal hoti hai dono ki. Sare topics important hai. Sare topics hume padne hai. We have to study each and every topic from finance and management. Let's look at the syllabus. It is very important to look at the syllabus before you're going to clear, before you're appearing for any exam. So, ek exam ko clear karna hai, high marks se clear karna hai, hamari strategy kya honi chahiye. Sabse pehle syllabus dekhiye. Always look at the syllabus. Then look at past year questions. How the questions are framed, what kind of questions are asked. So, for example, Phase 2 mein case study based questions bohut saare aate hai from management section. We'll see that in a minute. Sabse pehle let's talk a little bit about syllabus. So syllabus of finance and management, jab hum finance dekhte hai, we feel quite intimidated. Even I was intimidated kyunki first time I was giving phase 2 and finance section mein hamesha dar laga rata hai. But always be prepared. Always stick to your syllabus first. That is the very first thing to stick to your syllabus. Even if you're taking, you know, any course or you're preparing on your own, if, if you're referring to any books, ya fir aap online preparation kar rahe hai, always stick to your syllabus. Always stick to your syllabus. The second step will be to look at previous year questions. The second step will be to look at previous year questions. Kaise marks aai hui hai? One markers easy hai ya mushkil hai? How are two markers question asked? All these things you will be able to understand from previous year questions. Now finance mein, the third thing that you have to remember is that in finance, we have both static and current. Again, how you will understand ki static mein se kaise questions are hai and current mein se kaise? Using through TYQ. So always go through previous year questions, analyze those questions, look at which questions are asked from static sections, which are asked from current section. Ye samajh lenge, to aapka first step of preparation is already done. Always stick to your syllabus. Now the syllabus of finance is given in front of you. If you're preparing from any course or you're self-studying, syllabus padna bohut zata important hai. Stick to your syllabus. Okay, after that, Finance mein current affairs padna bohut zaruri hai. A lot of questions are asked from current affairs. We will look at the previous year questions in a minute. Abhi ke liye, we have looked at the syllabus. Now let's look at the syllabus of management. Now management mein, abhi tak what RBI was doing, RBI was focusing on three very important topics. That was leadership, motivation and communication. So communication, leadership and motivation. Now, but this time RBI 
motivation. Okay. This time and the previous time as well, RBI is now focusing on other important topics as well. So RBI has broadened its syllabus for management. A few topics are excluded and a few fresh topics are included in management syllabus. For example, corporate governance, ethics. Ethics is important. Hai. A question from CSR was asked in your previous year uh, exam and six mark ke three questions I think. So three mark, three questions from two marks each giving you six marks from CSR only. Which means ethics pe bohut zyada focus hai, corporate governance pe bohut zyada focus hai RBI ka. Again, very important to understand what are the focus concept of any exam. So the focus topics here are motivation. Motivation theory se hamesha har saal bohut saare questions aate hai. You can expect five to seven questions, five to seven marks from motivation section. Similarly, leadership, three to four questions of leadership are expected in both objective ya fir descriptive maybe aapko ek leadership se or motivation se question na sakta hai. Expect the question from ethics as well, corporate as well, both in descriptive and also in objective. Because no question is there from majorly corporate governance abhi tak ka CSR se koi question ni poochha hai, especially in descriptive. It is a very high chance that this year RBI can ask you descriptive question from either ethics or corporate governance. So these two topics you have to study very well. Now communication. Communication ka question every year it is asked both in objective and in descriptive as well. If you look at the previous year questions, you will understand communication barriers, modes of communication, verbal communication, written communication. These questions are descriptive mein bhi aate hai and objective ke liye to ye important. Hai hi. So, until now, RBI was focusing on motivational, leadership and communication, but now the focus is shifting to other topics as well. So, last year, a question was asked from organization change. Kurt Lewin model ka question aya tha. Uh, even in descriptive and in objective also, organization change pe RBI focused a lot. Similarly, personality. Personality topic pe a question was asked in objective section. Personality bhi ek important topic banta hai. CSR ka, I've already told you. Organization change, structure, ye bhanne bhoat zyada important hai. Okay, so until now the focus was not there of RBI, but now it is shifting. So the syllabus, if you look at the syllabus, it is very dynamic. It is very important for us to understand the syllabus. And like I said, previous year padna hai. And third very important is mocks dele hai. Once you give mocks, you will be very confident. You will be very confident while giving your exams. Kyunki aapne itne mocks de diye hai. Always try to give 10 mocks at least, 10 mocks at least aap FMK DJ hi DJ, just may aap objective ki preparation karenge and also you will be preparing for descriptive. So target mocks, syllabus sab se pehle so syllabus pe focus karna hai, then previous year questions and then give mocks. You will gain a lot of confidence how questions are asked in your mocks and if you are able to solve these questions, it means your revision is taking place very well, your preparation is on point and there is a very high chance that you can clear your exam. But Unfortunately, if you are a little lack in mocks, then keep giving mocks, keep revising, keep analyzing your mocks. Mocks to analyze bhi karna hai. It's not just that you have to give your mocks and leave them as it is, but keep revising your mocks as well. Keep analyzing your mocks. Okay, we've looked at the finance syllabus, we've looked at management syllabus. Let us look at the kind of questions that are asked. See, my strategy here, my motive of telling you is not just to tell you that you can read it from here. I am also going to tell you what will be your frame of mind when you are giving the exam. So the exam, it might look intimidated, especially for somebody who is giving phase 2 for the very first time. It is a lot of time, your whole day is taking an exam. It is taken in two shifts, morning shift and evening shift. Morning shift mein finance and management was conducted and then evening shift mein ESI and English descriptive together. So it takes you around 5 to 6 hours to give that one paper. And even if you're well prepared, if you're not cool, if you're not calm, if you're not maintaining your composure on the day of your exam, it can ruin your entire preparation. So it's important that you mentally bhi us exam ke liye prepare for exam, especially phase 2. Only if you clear phase 2, you will be able to give interview and interview mein agar aap achha nahi bhi perform karte hai, but you've scored very high in your phase 2, there's a very high chance that you will be able to clear RBI. Because phase 2 ka weightage in your entire, uh, you know, 375 marks is very high. So phase 2 ka weightage is very high. Hamesha target kariye very high marks. Mocks dijiye, syllabus achha se padke jaiye and previous year questions to dekhne hai.
Now let's look at a few previous year questions. So like I said, communication से एक question हर साल आता है. Every year this question, a question from communication is asked. It can be difficult, it can be easy, but it is asked. This time organization change से एक बहुत अच्छा question आया था. A question was also asked in descriptive from organization change. So Kurt Lewin model का question था. Very easy question, but अगर आप पढ़ के जाएंगे तो ही आपके लिए easy होगा. Then big five traits, personality model का भी एक question आया था. Now, even in one marks, RBI can give a case study. Now, why is RBI focusing on case study? Because it does not only want you to know the concepts. Sir, if you have concepts, you will have one-liners. It will not You have to apply those concepts. Application-based question. So, a situation is given, a case study is given, and you have to analyze that case study, and then you have to answer questions. So, one marker, maybe a small case study can come to It is possible. And always prepare for such questions. Now, preparation is how it mocks. If you have a case study, you mocks. You will be able to apply the knowledge that you have, the theoretical knowledge in the question case study. Ko analyze karenge, tabhi you will be able to answer such questions. So, RBI can give you very small case study. Now, in a case study question, there is another difficulty hoti hai, is the reading time. If you are taking a lot of time, if you are giving a lot of time in reading that case study or a report, a finance mein reports are jati hai. Management mein jaise case study aati hai, ESI mein schemes aati hai. Finance mein you can get reports. So a report can be given to you or a paragraph about any concept can be given and based on that you have to uh, solve the questions. So aap usme kitna time laga rahe hai? That is also very important to understand. Now, high max score karne hai, to sab cheeze charo taraf se aapko samajna hai. You know, you have to be very dynamic in your preparation. Time management bhi samajna hai. The kind of questions that are asked. How to manage your composure. How to be calm in your exam. That also you have to be prepared for. So, case study, one markers may be aa sakti hai. Two markers mein to definitely case study aegi hi aegi. Talking about finance, finance mein current mein se bohut sare questions aate hai. So, almost equal weightage is given to both static and current. Also, the static and the current portion of finance is overlapping. So, bohut sari aise cheeze hongi jo aapne static mein padhi hai. But, they can be asked in current. Right? So, for example, NBFC ka topic aap static mein padhte hai. But, there are current, you know, current, thing, current events happening related to the NBFC sector. RBI koi guidelines la raha hai related to the NBFC sector. That can be asked. So, it's not current or not static, ka, but it's a convergence. Hua. So, static and current, it's a collaboration in your question. Mein aega. These are overlapping concepts. So, for example, a question was asked to, uh, to identify what is a 20 character global reference number. The answer was LEI, Legal Entity Identifier. Very easy. Now, how do you study through RBI 247? Current is tackled through RBI 247. Videos are already given to you, free hai YouTube pe, isse zada aur kya milega aapko. RBI 247 se, you can clear finance current affairs of, yeah, finance current affairs for RBI exam. Iske ilawa, if you want to prepare yourself, then go to RBI website every second day, RBI guidelines padhiye, newspapers padhiye, business standard, live mint. These are the sources for finance current affairs. Otherwise, always focus on RBI 247 videos. Similarly, SPI's ka a question was asked. From SPI's foreign portfolio investors. Okay, investment in corporate bonds. The limit of FPI in corporate bonds. Again, PIDF ka question aata. Very recently, I taught PIDF, Payment Infrastructure Development Fund in RBI 247. PIDF ka question was asked. Okay, now coming to two marker questions. Two marker questions can be intimidating because see what happens is a case study is given to you. On the basis of that case study, three questions are given. Each question is of two marks. So, your total six to seven, six to eight marks. Your one case study se ho gaye. And if you are unable to understand the case study, ya koi report hai jo aapse identify nahi ho rahi, or any scheme that you are unable to identify, you can lose six to, se to eight marks from that very section itself, from that very case study itself. Ek hi question ki wajah se aapke you can lose seven to eight marks. So, bilkul chance nahi lena hai. Ye to bahut achhe se prepare karke jaane hai. Like I said, strategy ki baat ho rahi hai. We have to understand kaise questions aate hai, kaise hume tackle karna hai. So, CSR ka question was there, out of which three questions, three to four questions were asked from only CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. Now, ek concept hi agar aap padh ke nahi jayenge, or if you are unable to identify the case study, you won't be able to get high marks. So each and every topic is important, especially the newly added topics. For example, ethics, corporate governance and management, these important topics. Hai. So like I said, 
तीन क्वेश्चन सी एस आर के आए हुए थे फ्रॉम वन के स्टडी ओनली सिमिलरली फाइनेंस में रिपोर्ट विल बी गिवन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनुअल यू नो एनुअल रिपोर्ट ऑफ आरबीआई कैन बी गिवन और पैसेज फ्रॉम टेंड एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ बैंकिंग कैन बी गिवन एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन और करंट अफेयर्स के क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट फ्रॉम दैट सो इफ यू आर अनेबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द रिपोर्ट ओनली देन इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू यू नो गेट हाई मार्क्स जब एट मार्क्स ही आपके छूट रहे हैं बिकॉज ऑफ वन पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट दैट यू मिस तो बहुत रिस्की सिचुएशन हो जाती है ओके okay. so similarly finance mein a question a uh, case study was given and motivation ke questions aaye the hersberg model se needs identify karni thi and the second question was for to identify the motivation the kind of motivation so motivation leadership bahut important topics hai from finance section do not miss them similarly nbfc ki ek case study aayi thi like i said starting mein aapne nbfc pad liya but if you are unaware what all is coming in the nbfc section then it will be impossible to get very high marks coming to descriptive questions a question from a targeted long term repo operations was asked so ye finance current ka question hai important topic it was in news very much to ab descriptive ke liye hame kya karna hai three very important things that you have to do for descriptive ek get your concepts clear static acche se padhiye so the static section should be clear concepts acche se clear hone chahiye there was also a question about nbfc the difference between nbfc and banks so this is static only agar aapko concept pata hai what is an nbfc what are various types of nbfc bade aaram se you can get 10 to 12 marks in that 15 marker question if you know everything there is very limited scope for the examiner to cut your marks so sab kuch pata hi hai aur acche se framing kar rahe hai it will be very easy so the first is static then the data that you can add that can be from current or newspaper agar aapne padha hai okay so the data that you can add how you can enrich your answer be it any answer finance ka question hai esi ka question hai descriptive mein static pata hona chahiye and any current data that you can add to it to enhance the question how can you make sure ki aapka question next banne se bahut zyada acha ho by giving two three amazing topics details data in your answer jisse answer bahut hi zyada sundar ban jaye third and very important is practice डिस्क्रिप्टिव में आपको क्वेश्चन लिखने नहीं है यू हैव टू टाइप इट सो टाइपिंग प्रैक्टिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू कैन मिस हो सकता है आपने सिर्फ इंट्रो इंट्रो लिखा हो एंड टाइम हो जाए सो ऑलवेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन तो प्रैक्टिस करनी है डिस्क्रिप्टिव की दीज थ्री स्टेप्स इफ यू फॉलो फर्स्ट गेट एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द टॉपिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपको पता ही नहीं है टी एल टी आर ओ क्या है टारगेटेड लॉन्ग टर्म रेप ऑपरेशन क्या है हाउ विल यू बी एबल टू राइट दी आंसर now once you know the static portion you have to give certain details why rbi brought out what was the amount so kuch data aap usme dalenge acha banega sundar banega then agar aapne practice kari hai you are able to type that answer in the given time frame in the uh, limited amount of number of words that you are using agar aap acha answer likh pa rahe hain this very less chance ki aapke koi bhi marks katenge high marks to aap waise hi attain kar lenge if you follow these three steps for descriptive डिस्क्रिप्टिव के हमने तीन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स समझ लिए। ओके नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड कौन से सोर्सेस आपको फॉलो करने हैं सो फॉर फाइनेंस द सोर्सेस दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो इज फाइनेंस के कॉन्सेप्ट्स जो आप पढ़ेंगे दैट इज फ्रॉम इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम इफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन भारती भी पाठक की बुक आती है इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम नाउ इट इज अ वेरी बल्कि बुक बहुत ही ज्यादा मोटी बुक है यू डोंट हैव टू रीड दी एंटायर बुक पूरी नहीं पढ़नी है ऑलवेज स्टिक टू योर सिलेबस जो भी सिलेबस में गिवन है जो भी करंट में आ रहा है रेफर टू दिस बुक फॉर योर कॉन्सेप्ट ठीक है जो भी सिलेबस में है कॉन्सेप्ट आप इस बुक से पढ़ सकते हैं इफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन अदरवाइज कोर्स इज अवेलेबल हम लोग ऑलरेडी ही बहुत सारी बुक्स पढ़ के क्यूरेटेड अ वेरी गुड कोर्स फॉर यू यू कैन बाय बाय दैट अदरवाइज बुक से आप पढ़ सकते हैं इट इज वेरी सफिशियंट अगेन इट्स अ वेरी बल की बुक स्टिक टू योर सिलेबस स्पेशली इफ यू आर रीडिंग भारती पाठक ओके देन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रीड आरबीआई वेबसाइट आरबीआई वेबसाइट में फंक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ आरबीआई का एक डॉक्यूमेंट है टू टू थ्री हंड्रेड पेजेस का ये डॉक्यूमेंट है वेर इन ऑल द फंक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ आरबीआई अब आप आरबीआई का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं एंड यू डोंट नो एनीथिंग अबाउट आरबीआई तो आप कैसे एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं कि आपके हाई मार्क्स आएंगे सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप एक डॉक्यूमेंट दो सौ तीन सौ पेजेस का पढ़ के जाइए वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन इट टू यू इन आर कोर्स बुक इज गिवन टू यू ऑन दिस टॉपिक बट अदरवाइज इट विल वेरी रेलिवेंट इफ यू आर राइटिंग आंसर्स अलॉन्ग विद दैट बहुत सारे एफ जो आते हैं वो भी आप पढ़ सकते हैं इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन सो एफ ए क्यूज आरबीआई वेबसाइट आरबीआई गाइडलाइंस ये करंट पोर्शन की बात कर रही हूँ सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन वॉज आज एनबीएफसी सेक्टर आउटसोर्सिंग कैसे कर सकता है सो दिस वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन की गाइडलाइंस ऑफ आरबीआई 
तो अगर आप आरबीआई की गाइडलाइंस पढ़ेंगे अगर आप एफ सेक्शन पढ़ेंगे इट विल यू विल बी एबल टू क्लियर योर एग्जाम ना ऑल दीज आर कवर्ड इन आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन सो ज्यादा मेहनत करने की जरूरत नहीं है गो टू आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन वीडियोज वॉच वीडियोज उनकी पी डी एफ इज अवेलेबल अंडरलाइन हाईलाइट आपको जैसे भी पढ़ना है नोट्स बनाने हैं बट करंट अफेयर्स बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है फाइनेंस में करंट अफेयर्स छोड़ दोगे तो आपका एग्जाम ही छूट जाएगा ओके अदर देन दैट स्पॉटलाइट फॉर फाइनेंस करंट अफेयर स्पॉटलाइट का बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस सेक्शन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस सेक्शन सिमिलरली आरबीआई टू फोर सेवन वीडियोज ये दोनों आपका वो ही कवर कर देंगे सिमिलरली जो न्यूज पेपर है इफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू रीड न्यूज पेपर एवरी डे तो न्यू न्यूज पेपर दैट यू कैन रेफर टू इज बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड एंड लाइवमेंट सेबी की कोई इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज है आरबीआई रिलेटेड कोई इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज है और एनी अदर फाइनेंस रिलेटेड इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज कैन बी कवर्ड फ्रॉम न्यूज पेपर्स कंडीशन यू रीडिंग इट एवरी डे नाउ अब फेज टू में एफ एम की हम बात कर रहे हैं डेफिनेटली करंट के जो टॉपिक्स है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव एनी डेटा यू कैन ग्रास फ्रॉम हियर और दिस इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल थ्रू आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन वीडियो अगेन इंटरव्यू के लिए बहुत ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट यू रीड न्यूज पेपर एवरी डे अब इंटरव्यू की अभी हम बात नहीं कर रहे हैं वीर ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन द फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट पेपर टू बट अगेन लाइक आई सेट कि वेटेज फेज टू की बहुत ज्यादा है इसलिए कोई भी टॉपिक कुछ स्किप मत करिए एवरीथिंग दैट इज टोल्ड टू यू टू स्टडी टू प्रिपेयर ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू गेट वेरी हाई मार्क्स मेहनत करनी है हम चोरी नहीं करनी डू नॉट थिंक वॉट इज द शॉर्टकट ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर द एग्जाम बिकॉज बहुत अच्छे दे रहे हैं एंड एवरीबडी इज वेल प्रिपेयर सो यू हैव टू बी बेटर दैन द नेक्स्ट कैंडिडेट हु सिटिंग लेफ्ट टू यू और सिटिंग राइट डिसाइड यू ओके सो मैनेजमेंट The book for management that we have for you is T N Chabra, or you can also refer to C B Gupta. So management ke jo bahut important topics hai, like I said, leadership, motivation, communication, personality theory, ye sab apke yahan se cover ho jayenge. Bahut important hai if you're preparing on your own. Management ki ye book you can refer to T N Chabra or C B Gupta. Similarly, ethics, corporate governance jo abhi add hua hai, ethics is very important. For that we have Anil Kumar for you. Anil Kumar ki bahut achhi book hai. You can refer to that. बिजनेस एथिक्स की हम जब बात करते हैं बिजनेस एथिक्स और कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस लाइक आई सेट सी एस आर का एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आया था एट मार्क्स का सी एस आर का ही सेक्शन था सो कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी भी इंपॉर्टेंट है एथिक्स कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस बिल्कुल मत छोड़िएगा इफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर ओन यू कैन रेफर टू अनिल कुमार की बुक ऑडिटिंग एंड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस ओके यस दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ द सेशन आई होप जो भी अभी आपको इस वीडियो में बताया है अबाउट फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट हाउ टू टैकल आपको समझ आ गया होगा इफ यू गो थ्रू दिस स्ट्रैटेजी वंस और ट्वाइस अगेन यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि बहुत इजी है इसको करना एंड वंस यू फॉलो दिस स्ट्रैटेजी डिलीजेंटली यू विल बी एबल टू स्कोर वेरी हाई मार्क्स वेरी इजिली ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जाम्स की प्रिपेयरिंग थैंक यू